In time to talk winners and losers on Wall Street with financial expert Rob Black. And Rob, uh, I'm looking at the markets this morning. I know the Dow's off quite a bit. Uh, in all likelihood, probably has a lot to do with the uh, comments that Fed Chairman Jerome Powell had earlier this morning. And I want to delve into that in more detail here in a minute. So just give me your top line on that. I know we've been talking about Meta this morning as well with the layoffs. So lots of news to chew on. Uh, where do you want to start? I'll give you the financial perspective. Um, first and foremost, uh, you mentioned the down markets, and I want to caution people and say it's not really down this year, it's sideways. We're going nowhere fast. We're waiting for inflation to drop, and it's not going to happen fast. That's what Jerome Powell is telling Congress in his semi-annual testimony in front of the uh, on Capitol Hill today. And tomorrow, it's a tough week on Wall Street because we get a lot of talk about inflation. Wall Street does not like inflation or higher interest rates. Uh, we're just consuming too much is what we're learning um, uh, for as far as services, travel, hotels, restaurants, uh, we're coming down in prices elsewhere, but more on that in a couple of minutes. Last time Meta or Facebook did uh, job layoffs, the stock rose 15 plus percent. It's going to be a good year for the stock in large part because out of the FANG stocks, the Facebooks, the Amazons, the Apples, the Netflix, uh, the Alphabets, um, they're or due to the fact that they spy on us and they share the information, all the publicity that we know about Meta. Um, elsewhere of note, 1.8% of Americans are delinquent on their car loans, so telling us that we're looking at a recession very likely second half of this year. We've lived through them before, James. All we have is a stupid shirt to prove it. Mm. Um, it's not a bad thing. It kills inflation better than the Federal Reserve does. And real interesting note, Best Buy is getting into the hospital monitoring business at home. So let's say I have, uh, let's say I, I go into a situation where I need to be in bed and have my heart monitored. They'll come to our house now and the geek squad will set it up for oxygen monitoring, heart monitoring. And they're setting it up with a secure network or with hospitals um, to uh, watch us at home. And I think that's a good thing, staying out of the hospital versus going into a hospital. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Okay, now let's get back to uh, the Fed. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell testifying on Capitol Hill. He made some comments this morning. Uh, explain what it was that he said and what does that tell you about the Fed's forecast for interest rates, inflation, recession, all that stuff going forward. Where, where are they thinking? Um, it's great for savers. Um, Treasury notes are amazing right now at 5%. Putting money into an account at a bank is wonderful because you're getting four, four and a quarter percent. So for savers, this is the best news ever. Um, but for people who invest and who want growth, it's bad. We're going to be paying higher on mortgages. We're going to be paying higher interest costs on credit cards, on home equity lines of credit. Corporate bonds, when they borrow money, are all going to be paying higher. The government, when we issue uh, bonds to build roads, it's going to be a higher rate. It's bad all around but it slows growth, which slows inflation. That's why he's doing it. Inflation's stubbornly high, and we saw the PCE, the consumption number, jump higher after everything started to come lower. We saw a reignition in inflation. I'm not gonna ask people not to go on vacation. Mm. Right? If you don't go on vacation, you're gonna help out. I'm going on vacation, and there's kind of a revenge angle on that. So services are way up with inflation. But we're starting to see some uh, downward pressure on housing and used cars. So we're 14 months into typically what's an 18 month to 36 month cycle. Yeah. I think we're closer to the end. Um, I'm still investing. I'm just not investing in companies that are losing money. Yeah. Um, and I feel fine about where I am. Okay. All right. Lots of heavy stuff to digest there in the news today. Rob, thank you as always for helping us do that. We'll chat with uh, Rob again tomorrow. So let him know if there's any comments, questions, any companies you want him to talk about or trends. Facebook, Twitter, you see his handles there. Email him directly at robberobblack.com.